Previously, we talked about dilation in the direction of the y-axis or parallel to the y-axis, perpendicular to the x-axis. Now, we're going to talk about the other way, which is in the direction of the x-axis, parallel to the x-axis, and perpendicular to y. We're going to be looking at the effects of this top red box and its effects on the on the graph. The first one we're going to have a look at is the standard one, just so again you can compare. And it's going to look something like that. All right. The second one, the blue one, is going to be I'll just use a thicker line. Um, it's going to be thinner. That's the way that we describe it. So it starts off starts off here. And it does that. Now, that's you, you can see that the graph has been pulled in. And to what degree it has been pulled in, we'll discuss that a little bit later. Let's draw the third one. And it's going to be wider, fatter. And all of these three graphs will have the same cut. Because if you put x as 0 in all of them, you're going to get 1. So all of them have 1. Okay, so this is dilation parallel to the x-axis. So you've been pulled either this way or that way. And we're going to compare a data point. So data point here. So these all have the same y value. It's not to scale, but I'll work out the actual numbers so that you can see how much they've dilated. So let's go with something simple, a simple y value first, 4. Okay, so when y is 4, what is the x value? Well, for this one, you're going to get x equals 2. For this one, x is going to be 1. For this one, x is going to be 4. Okay, so I'm going to put those values there. This one is 1, this one is 2, and this one is 4. As you can see, from the black line, which is f of x, and the blue line is g of x, of x. From the black one to the blue one, it has been dilated by a factor of a half parallel to the x-axis. As you can see, it was 2, and for the same y value, it's been halved. From the black one to the red one, it has been dilated by a factor of 2 parallel to the x-axis, and you can see the result here. It's been doubled. So, this is how we can see it in a graph. How would you be able to see it without drawing the graph? Well, the basic rule is that you look at the red box, you look at what is happening in front of these numbers, and, and this is very important, you take the reciprocal. From the black one to the blue one, it's 2, therefore the factor of dilation is 1 over whatever that number is. It's 2. So it's the reciprocal, 1 over. And for this one, the factor is 1 over whatever that number is in there. And that gives you 
two.